So we're gonna try out the Say Slip Tint. I actually like the name of that. It has an SPF of 35. It says to apply with your fingers. And if you've watched me for any amount of time, you know I hate that. I don't like the feeling of touching the product to my skin using fingers. I just, I don't like the feeling and I feel like I'm just putting more bacteria on my face. I do want to try this the way they suggest. So I'm gonna do one side with my fingers and then one side with the beauty blender, see how that's going. I know that there are plenty of other reviews out there on this. I have not tried it, but I am just in the mood for finding really good summer foundations, skin tints and tinted moisturizers because it is getting hot here in Arkansas. So I'm looking for a lightweight, movable coverage products that have good skincare in them. And this claims a lot of good skincare, hyaluronic acid, pansy flower, an antioxidant that works with hyaluronic acid to boost hydration and licorice root, which helps brighten the overall appearance of skin which I find interesting because I've been trying a lot of Korean skincare and a lot of them include licorice root in their skincare products for brightening and all that stuff. And I feel like I have noticed a difference in my skin since using uh, Korean skincare. This does have zinc oxide in it. It has 15%, so it's a, you know, a physical sunscreen. Sometimes I do break out with zinc oxide, so we'll see about that issue as the day goes on. This is gluten-free, cruelty-free, and the packaging is recyclable. You get 1.35 fluid ounces for $35. I love the packaging. I really like the fact that it comes in a tube that I can squeeze the product out through the pump so I can get like every last drop. I have no primer on my face. How is that? SUV even making that sound. I like to not use primers when I am reviewing foundations because I feel like when you're paying this amount of money because I do review higher end foundations, that's just my preference. I find they don't break me out. They last all day. Just I prefer high end foundations because of my sensitive skin. When you're paying high end prices, I feel like you don't really need to use a primer. You shouldn't have to unless you're using primers to correct, so. That's just my two cents on that. My left side, I'm going to apply with my fingers, like they say. Right side, we're gonna use a blender. Huda Beauty One. I always wanna say Beauty Blender, but that's not what it is. Okay, let's try this. Let's see if three and a half is too dark for me right now. I'm not self-tanned at all. Did get a little sun. Ooh. I don't know. That might work. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so the instructions are just like, oh girl, just slap that on. So we'll try it. I hate this feeling. This like, oof. I really hate doing this, but it looks like it's, it looks like it's looking okay. It says it has a very uh, dewy finish. So I feel like that's definitely coming through. Ooh, I don't know. I just, I feel weird like applying coverage product like I would blend in my moisturizer. It just doesn't feel right to me, but you know, I don't know. Plenty of people do it. It's just not, not my favorite. See, I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, tapping and blending, but it definitely gets streaky with my fingers. You know, I don't know, maybe I'm just bad at it. I hate it. So maybe that's part of it. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more on my forehead. And down my nose, right down the center. The scent is just very natural. It just kind of smells like an oil and it feels very hydrating. Okay, here's one side with the foundation, one side without. Uh, I feel like this might be a half a shade too dark for me. I'm definitely gonna have to go back in and blend with the sponge i don't like it with you know it's just it is what it is so i'm gonna go ahead and do this side 
with the sponge. Oh, see, now I feel like that's really giving me nice, even coverage without giving me like patches of weirdness. And I feel like the product went a lot further. For me, anyway. I really like the glow that it gives. That's for sure a plus. Okay, before I go back in and blend this side, because it definitely needs blending, this side is where I applied this with my fingers. I feel like it's just very patchy, heavy in some areas. I don't know if it's my hatred for applying products with my hands or what, you know? And then there's this side that I applied with the sponge. I just feel like it's more even, dispersed. I prefer this side. You guys let me know in the comments. Maybe it's just I'm being very partial, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out a little better. See, and I feel like it did give me more coverage when I used my fingers, so I'm just gonna add a little more coverage here. It says it's light coverage. I would say light, and I'm building it up probably to medium. Definitely very glowy. I feel like it is something that I like, and when it's, you know, it's been sitting on my skin now for a little bit, I feel like it's, the shade is okay. It's just a hair too dark for me right now. Now I wanna use two cream products from say that I already know and love and have been using. This is their Sun Melt in medium bronze. I really like this. It reminds me of my uh, old beloved Chanel Soleil Detan Chanel <laughs> and, uh, before they reformulated it. It's just a matte cream bronzer and I'm only bronzing like from my cheeks up since this is already a little bit too dark for me. But this bronzer is very dewy. It doesn't, um, you know, separate during the day. I do have dry skin, so that might be something to consider with these glowier, glowier products. And I'm just gonna apply it here on my cheeks, on my nose. So imagine the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, but a little bit glowier if you liked that old formula, I think that you would like this product as well. Blush, I'm gonna use the Say Do Blush in Poppy. I have and love the shade Peachy. Already it's just a light peach. Both like really beautiful summer shades, I feel. So I just used those swatches. I'm gonna go ahead and apply them here. Just do a little mix. I'm gonna go ahead and drape with these. These mixed together ended up being a really beautiful kind of muted uh, version of the shade Poppy. Okay, so this foundation or tinted moisturizer has been sitting on my face for like 20 minutes, it's still got an extreme glow. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my products and I'll be right back. Continue the rest of our day, working out, end of the night update, natural light shots, up close shots. You guys know I have no shame with those up close shots. And I know that you really appreciate that because uh, that's what your skin looks like, you know? Okay, we are back. I just finished the rest of my makeup. If you would like to see a tutorial, it will be up on Instagram. I will link it below in a reel. So this has been sitting on my face now for a good 45 minutes. And as I was filming this makeup tutorial, I noticed some interesting aspects. I only powdered down my eyes and because I wanna see how this lasts alone, I have drier skin so I can get away with not powdering foundations because of my dry skin. I feel like the shade again might be a half a shade too dark, but overall I like it. The things that I'm picking up on are even though I powdered under my eyes, it's starting to kind of mattify on my chin but it's getting super glowy through my forehead. And uh, 
the highlight I have on, I used a, um, the Patrick Ta Major Glow Highlighting Mist. Now I will have everything on my face in the information below, so don't forget to check that out if you are curious about that. But everything is a cream product except for powdering under my eyes, even my eye shadow. Uh, I really like it so far. I feel like it might be enhancing some texture, but here's the thing, I'm kind of battling some texture issues right now because of an immune rash. When am I not though? Let's zoom in on these pores and then get to the natural daylight shot. But I feel like it's picking up on texture around my chin here and my cheeks. Uh, and here you can definitely see where that rash is um, there. But again, for a glowy finish, the thing is it's, you know, reflection. It's gonna be like showing problem areas probably a little more than usual. And I do have a lot of problem areas right now. So I'm excited to see how this wears down uh, because this is a product that I would reach for in the summertime. I'm excited to see how this lasts during my workout because I'll be sweating. It's like 90 degrees outside. I'll be working out in my studio, but for something that I'm going to be, not that they marketed this uh, skin tint or tinted moisturizer or slip tint, okay, to like be used in the summer, this to me is a summery product, something that I would reach for in the summer. So I wanna see how it lasts uh, against the summer heat. This is this tinted moisturizer right in front of my window and no studio lighting. And as you can see, it's super glowy. It is picking up a little bit on, do you see that like texture? Here on my forehead. But again, I'm having a lot of things going on with my skin. So maybe if you have more of a perfected texture to your skin or you're not having an, uh, a rash on your face, it might uh, not be an issue. But I really like it overall, how it looks on my face, even out of studio lighting. Again, hopefully you guys can see the difference in my neck and my face a little better uh, without being under all those lights. It can kind of make things look even, you know, just more even than they are in real life. Okay, see my pores? So pores are a big struggle for me. Not that it's enhancing them, but it's definitely not taking away from them. This is a very uh, natural looking uh, tinted moisturizer. And it looks like I left a patch there. <laughs> it's like an uncovered. So let's go fix that. I will update you throughout the day how this wears down. It is towards the end of the work day. So now I'm gonna work out. You know, for having like such a rash, it's really kind of, I mean, see, you can still see the redness, but my forehead definitely calmed down. Do you guys see this rash? I feel like this is a good, this right here is a good um, indicator of like, you could have some problem zones, right, with your skin, but your foundation or tinted moisturizer doesn't have to enhance it. So today's push day, so it's gonna be a little sweaty because I have hit at the end, but it even looks good with the concealer I use. I use Armani Luminous. Also, I know I, my makeup's a little different because I had to film another video. was hit. I stopped recording in the middle of my workout because to be honest the camera would have fallen over if I would have done hit. Uh, it just would have fallen over. Like the foundation of this old house still needs to be leveled so anyway um, I feel like it's getting dark outside but look I feel like this is holding up really well for a tinted moisturizer. Uh, around here looks a little extra dry but honestly that's such a problem area for me. I try not to judge foundations too harshly. I feel like, because I love the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, that one is incredible. It is 
fuller coverage though. I would say this would be right there with it if it like considering it would be like a step down in coverage. So if you can imagine like if you like the Rare Beauty tinted moisturizer, positive light tinted moisturizer, and you want something with less coverage, I think this might be your gal. Of course we have the rest of the night to go. It's doing really well. Even if my chin doesn't look too dry. Also I'm wearing a Patrick Ta uh, lip cream and she's confident and I've had this on for like a couple hours and it hasn't budged. I forgot how good these are. But okay, I'm impressed. I gotta eat. Right now we're under uh, with some pretty fluorescent overhead lights. Which I should probably change out because it's really kind of hard to see. This looks like it got a little worse. But I mean I've been breaking out so I can't I can't blame this situation. There's around my nose and by the way, you know, I mean let's not forget this is after a full day of wear and also real lighting. Now I'm going to go watch reviews. Like I like I say in every foundation review, I do not watch people's reviews because I want to have like my own opinion and I'm someone who can kind of get swayed, inundated with information that maybe just not my own so I'm gonna go watch reviews I'll put in the blog whether I agree with them or not and the, and the blog is in the info below so everything on my face will be down there too thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one and until then I say try the say uh, slip tent All right.